video Bob from Bob's Prop Shop. <clears throat> this is 1984 Corvette C4. This is the A-Team Corvette. Remember, Face Man drove this Corvette in the TV show. Now, this isn't the actual one from the show. It's a replica. But, um, you know, they didn't... I don't think they built any Corvettes in the year 1983. They started this uh, new style in 1984. This has what's known as the Crossfire injected uh, V8 with... Uh, the four plus one transmission it's called it has brand new tires and the thing is in immaculate condition come on over here check this thing out the paint is just really amazing there's I mean if you look really really hard you can find little tiny little cracks and things but the great thing about this if, if you're somebody who knows paint and you run your hand over this you won't feel a bulge between this pinstripe and paint that's because this was block sanded and cleared over so this is not just a vinyl sticker it's a really well done paint job there's no I mean, you know, like you can't feel anything between this stripe and this other two-tone here. Original factory wheels, a completely original factory car, all red leather interior, or red whatever this material is. Maybe it's vinyl, I guess. But uh, these are Recaro-style seats. Come around here. Now this is a Target top. Top comes off very easily and fits in the back. Now for those of you who've never had a C4, let me show you this. Here, come, come back around this way. There's a button here, and that's how you open that. Did you see that just happen there? When I first got this thing, I didn't know where that button was. And we could not, for the life of us, figure out how to open that. And then I saw that button. Here you go. Here's your, uh, your fuel filler right there. You know, a lot of times, some of this stuff is in poor condition. So I've replaced these speaker grills and this little uh, this cover piece and things like that top comes off and it actually has a place to hold itself in place so that you can uh, carry that with you. Interior, again, in fantastic condition. This is the all digital dash. Thing runs like a top. Just, you're just not going to find one of these in this kind of condition. You know, there's a lot of 84 C4s out there, but they're generally pretty trash. Let me show you. Uh, the interior a little bit. The car is amazingly stock. Let me take the camera for a second and show you how cool this digital... You've got a computer here. There's some controls here where you can change the different values here. You know, oil pressure, oil temperature, coolant, voltage trip and the speedo and the range, instant fuel averages, things like that. And um, let's see, where is the mileage on this thing? I don't even know where they keep it. Uh, I think it's on trip odometer. There we go. There's trip uh, and odometer. Where is the odometer? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's a mechanical odometer. There we go. 74,000 original miles. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, we've got a mp3 player in here some of the basic controls you know windows go up and down they go slowly but that's an old gm that's the way they work they go up and down you have uh overdrive switch mirror control with this joystick those also work um got yourself a little cup holder basically everything works in the car i tell you what once you hop in fry jump in we're gonna have this is fry from screen machines He's gonna Woo! jump in. Watch go. Get some. Oh, there we yeah, go. Sit on those. My brand new, uh, brand new floor mats. Just had those made. <laughs> Whoops! I accidentally hit the horn. Sorry about that. Horn blows, but the driver doesn't. <laughs> Safety first. So this is a stick. So that means most millennials won't know how to drive it. <laughs> you're, you're strapped in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the, these Corvettes, I'm just going to demonstrate this for the new owner, just so they know. It's kind of like a lot of different cars, like the DeLorean, but the reverse is actually to the left and forward. Lift up, to the left, forward, and that is reverse. I'm going backwards. Okay. Snap that out, and first gear. Corvette land. Oh, doesn't that sound good? All right. 
it breaks. So we're gonna, out of, there's a lot of traffic over there. Let's go this direction. The thing drives like a go-kart. I love the way that these cars turn. There's like no, there's zero play. I'm gonna. Sorry about that. So check out this steering wheel here. Look, there's like no play in this thing. Look at that. This thing drives straight as an arrow. This car is is a great example of a virtually uh, completely stock car that is in great condition, and just like the one on the TV show. Over here you have your windshield wiper controls, which are dry, so they're gonna make that squeaky noise. All right. the headlights are working. There they go. Can you see them flipping up there? Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, headlights. No headlights. So let's uh um, Yes. So speaking of which, when well I'm speaking of turns, there's a bunch of plastic under the front of the car. That's usually gone. It's usually chipped and broken. We've replaced it all. All of the under spoilers, the cowling, all that stuff, that's all brand new. All the tires, brand new. They don't even have a couple of miles on them. Maybe, maybe 50 miles on them. I just took it for a test drive. Uh, this car had a custom optional Bose interior. I've replaced, uh, uh, you can't tell on a phone, but I've, I've replaced these some of these Bose speakers. You can get them uh, because each speaker is powered from a separate preamplifier. So I've replaced those. And um, tuned up, you know, did the basic tune up, bowl change, fluids, and really just ev everything on the car seems to be fine. This car spent its entire life, as you can tell, in a nice heated air conditioned garage under a car cover. I have the custom car cover made for this car, comes with the car. If you're a Corvette fan or just an A-Team fan or whatever, this is a fantastic example of a nice early uh, C4. You know, I know the Crossfire isn't the most desirable motor in the world, but for such a car that's so small and light, I mean, it, does it look like it's having a problem? <laughs> You know what I mean? Am I having a problem? No, no. You see what I'm saying? Woo. So. 52 miles. <laughs> yeah. Corvette C4, the A-Team Face Man Corvette. Does it kick ass? You damn skippy. There is not much car that you can buy for this money that I'm asking. I'm talking about a topless Corvette with a bright red perfect interior with like no blemishes on it. The paint is perfect. It drives ready. Everything works. Check this out. I mean, there's no way to actually prove this, but this car has air conditioning. All right. I should have put a thermometer in here. Air, AC heat works. Air conditioning. You understand? Works. I guess I, I guess it's the only, you know. And it, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill it. And let's hop out and I'll just show you the motor just real quick. Do I need to, you need me to hold that? Yeah, one? I got it. You got it? Okay. Ugh. So let me, uh. Here, I get that for you, Fry. So there's the money maker right there. So, Crossfire V8 injection. Uh, it's called the four plus one. So even though it's a stick, it actually has an overdrive mechanism. It was a new thing that the Chevy was trying out. Uh, you know, people felt that this car was a little bit underpowered as compared to the Corvettes that followed it, which is true. I mean, I drive that CTSV over there. That's, that's 540 horsepower of super badassness. But in 1984, this was the shit. You know what I mean? Um, you know, again, we were showing off the, the lights. There they, there they function. Yep, they're working. All right. I also replaced all the bulbs on this car. All of the little, I, all these lenses have been pulled out. Some of them replaced with new ones just so that they're pretty. Uh, new bulbs all the way around. Look at how perfect the, the wheels are. All the clear coat is still on them. Brand new uh, Cooper Sport tires. 
I wanted to put good tires on here. The thing drives real good. Brand new battery. And actually this little thing you're seeing here uh, for storage, since this car isn't driven a lot, we keep it plugged in. So this is a little a little charging port that I, I hid in there. You could remove that if you want. I just stuck that there just so it's easy to get to. But basically, um, everything works. Like I said, all of that plastic underneath has been replaced. You can see how clean it is. You can eat it off this thing. Power steering and all that, nothing's wet. Notice that none of the mass manifolds are wet. Okay. You know, you would expect that on a car that's as, as old as uh, some as this thing is, you know. But notice, there's nothing wet under here. No oil, no dripping. Okay, no leaking, no smoking. You know, engine oil. I mean, this isn't anything to show you, but I mean, it's perfectly clean because we've just changed it, you know. But we keep it well maintained. So, whoops. Hot. Ow. <laughs> Anyway, everything works. So, let me go ahead and put this back down. The only thing that doesn't work is this light inside the hood. I didn't replace that bulb. Other than that, as far as I can tell, everything is functioning in the car. You even have the storage bins back there, all the keys. Like I said, new carpet for the floor mats. Uh, had those, had these made and embroidered. I don't know, I spent like a couple hundred bucks on these floor mats, that's why I'm so proud of them. Look, you already got you already got some dirt on my floor mat. What? What one little piece of grass? There you go. Get that out. <laughs> but really, think about it. I mean, other than what is there one little blemish on the center console there? That's not bad for a car this age. Pretty darn good condition. Rubber is all in good condition. Thing starts up and runs like a champ. You just saw us do it. You know, there's not a lot of cars out there you can get for what I'm asking for this thing. And if you're an 18 fan, if you already have an 18 van or you're looking to start a car collection, this is a really cheap and easy way to do that. People that are a fan of the show, they're gonna recognize this is Dirk Benedict's car, the face man. And like I said, the paint job on this thing is, is phenomenal. And just, just for demonstrational purposes, I'll show you how this uh, target top works. Hit the sew button. It actually has a place for it back here where it, where it stays. It lifts out. This is preferably a two-person job, but one person can do it. There you go, thanks. So basically... Is the front going first? These little... Oh, the, here goes forward a little bit. There we go. Okay, like that. Then, I'm gonna press down on that. Then once you go inside, there's some little screws that come with it. There's a little wrench, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now, but there's a little wrench that goes in there. You lock down the four places, and then this thing is watertight. The great thing about the Target Tops that's different from T-Tops is that they don't leak uh, because the water naturally runs off. There's this little flappy here thing here that protects this. Water runs off the edges. Water, the window goes up and seals under these lips. And then you have this uh, little metal fold down here that also protects and runs water off. So you don't have a problem with leaking with these kind of tops. That's what's great about them. And quite frankly, you don't have to leave it at home. There's a lot of convertible cars like this, like a T-Bird. You can't take it with you. This thing, they made a spot for it to fit in the back. See these little notches here? It fits right into those little notches and the thing just locks into place. I replaced these speaker grill covers. Um, you know, you've got some storage bays here that lock, you can, you know, it's where you, it's where you put your, your 80s memorabilia, <laughs> your bags of cocaine, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, one of the things I think is cool about these cars is the plastic backing that they put on the back of oh, the wow, seats. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of kind of a nice touch. This automated antenna does work if I uh, turn on the heat, turn the radio on. Bang, there it is. Sky's the limit. It's just one of those little things where this is something that normally wouldn't work and everything on it works. You know, all the lights work, the brake lights, blinkers, all those things. You know, when you fire it up, 
just looks pretty. Also, this car is a registered an antique in Texas, making it totally exempt from all emissions testing. Uh, so, it's a, tag's good till 318, and uh, you don't have to do emissions on this car. So don't worry about those things. That's not an issue, <laughs> right? Because we all know it wouldn't pass anyway. <laughs> anyway. If this is the Corvette you've been looking for, this is it. It's not gonna last long. Thanks for watching my video. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, check out bobspropshop.com. You can find me on the internet. My email is bobspropshop at hotmail.com. Go to bobspropshop.com on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just Google my name, Video Bob, V-I-D-E-O-B-O-B. And you can find all the cool stuff that we do. We don't just do these. We do like the DeLorean time machine. We do the Ghostbusters car, Knight Rider. We build the actual van that goes with this car. And we have a van ready to go. So if you're an A-Team fan and you want to have both the Corvette and the van, we can build you the van. So this is it. Send me an email. Buy the car.